of perch skulls right here. Now the perch, all of a sudden we have bone in, so this is all bone. Um, they have a premaxilla that sticks out right here. It's a tooth bearing structure, you can even see the little tiny teeth on it. Oh, quick announcement to the class. Have you guys bought your dissection kits yet? Yes. Okay, buy your dissection kits, number one. And number two, this is not included in the dissection kit. And this is probably more important than the entire dissection kit. This is called a blunt probe. A blunt probe has a little rounded point on the end, little kind of angled process. You use it to point to things instead of pen or pencil because pen or pencil, you start touching the little points and all of a sudden the little fish's quadrate gets colored in. <laughs> and even though that's not ni that's nice for you guys, after a while it just becomes like this black mass and you have no idea what it is anymore. Okay? Okay, um, pre-maxilla, dentaries down here. <laughs> we can go to the picture so that we have it a little bit better. So dentary is this whole part. Pre-maxilla. Maxilla is this kind of triangular thing on the side. Can you guys all see that? Maxilla. We have nasal, which is right here. That bone right there. And then frontal is this nice, like, head shield that's on top of it. Um, <laughs> articular is right here. Okay. <laughs> articular. I'll double check that on the nice picture. And it's the one thing they don't label on it. So, articular. Right there and right there. And that's because the articular right there touches with the quadrate right here. And that one's a little bit better outlined. Can you see that? And right there. Everybody can see that one? So the jaw joint articulation on the fish is quadrate articular. Quadrate articular. Okay. Um, okay, then you have your preoperculum, which is kind of this rough, kind of thin L shaped thing. That's the preoperculum. And then you have the operculum, which is this large part right here. Can you guys all see that okay? If you've ever seen um, like fighting fish and you stick them next to another fighting fish, they flare their operculum out. That's that part right there. So important in um, sexual displays of aggression. Okay, hyomandibular is up here. Where the blue dot is, obviously that was a test question in the past. Um, okay, coracoid and coronoid are really a pain unless... Is there another fish somewhere? So the coracoid process is kind of this bottom one right here. Can you see how there's a little line right there that separates the two bones? Do I need to bring it closer to you guys? Right here, there's like a little tiny line. Below that is coracoid and above that is scapula. Above the line? Coracoid scapula. 
see how it looks on the <laughs> Oh, this side's even better. You can see a definite line right there. Can you see that line? Right there. Oh, yeah. So, coracoid scapula. And this is a pectoral fin. And as you'll learn, perch are a highly derived species. Their pelvic fin has moved really far forward. That's their pelvic fin right there. Okay, then on to the full body of the perch. You have your spinous dorsal fin and each of those rays, and that's the front one. You'll also learn this when you dissect your perch. It's definitely spinous because it will stab you. It hurts. And each one of those little fin rays is called an actinoteragy. And then you have your soft dorsal fin, which is really soft, and you can kind of rub it both ways and it doesn't do anything to you. And that has each one of those little rays is called leptidoteragy. Okay. Um, then running all the way down the back right here, you can see the bones that are sticking up off of the vertebral column. Those are your neural spines. That's the caudal fin. Anal fin back here, pelvic fin, pectoral fin. Um, and then you can see, see how there's ribs going down? The, the long ones? Those are your um, pleural ribs or ventral ribs. Then you have like these little tiny thin ones that are kind of going more this way with the fish. Can you see those little tiny thin ones? Can everybody see those? Those are your dorsal ribs or your epipleural ribs. Okay, possum and cat skeletons. 